good old cup of tea and it's got a teddy bear on it. <laughs> right, so today was the last day of college thankfully, so got a bit of time off over Christmas now. But sadly, due to exams that are coming up in January, I actually don't have all that much time to spend in the workshop, although I'm sure I will spend as much as I can. So yep, as always, they get us to do exams in January as well as in May, so double the fun, I suppose, there. But, you know, so that means that I have to sort of do a load of work and revision over the Christmas holidays. I'm sure I'll take a few days off, actually, around Christmas, but on top of coming into the workshop I will also be sadly having to do a load of college work. So I've been looking at my schedule for doing videos and it looks to be that this is the last video blog of the year. So I've been doing these little video blogs for a little while now and hopefully you're getting something out of them, maybe a little bit of enjoyment. I actually kind of enjoy coming out here and doing it actually, t talking about woodwork without actually doing much I suppose if I don't have enough time to actually get on with a project so but today I thought I would get on and show you my progress on the loud rap blah, blah, blah. thought I would get on and show you my progress on the router lathe first so let's go and have a look at that right so over here this is my progress so far on the router lathe I haven't actually got that much done but I've almost completed the rail assembly and so that is the progress so far. I'm actually in the process of deciding whether to sort of screw through this MDF. Um, as you all know MDF has a sort of a habit of splitting quite extensively but I'm pretty sure that I can get a good join this all together quite well with screws if I keep them away from the very ends of the sort of strips themselves so if I keep the screws a good 10 centimeters in that should sort that problem out and then just to support them at sort of to near the ends I'm, I've also got these sort of plates that sit on the end here so that should give them some some support but I will also sort of reinforce it with a couple of sort of aligning dowels and hopefully that will help out a little bit. So yep, that's all the progress I've made on the router lathe so far. I've got a long way to go with all this and depending on how much time I can come out here um, it will depend on when I can actually get this project up for you. But I'm also working on a couple of other projects in the meantime. So right, there's just a quick look at the router lathe. So next up I thought I'd show you the latest addition to the workshop and it is this sort of chest of drawers. If we take a closer look at one of So again I've got loads of additional storage space in here now which is actually really handy and also an extra sort of work surface which is really great. Um, although Although I've got this new workshop, every time I have the opportunity I seem to add in more stuff and make it sort of tighter and tighter in here for space, but I have actually managed to fit this in quite well and weirdly enough this sort of this is sort of the best working environment despite the lack of sort of space to walk around, the best working environment I've had so far. So this has actually provided uh, me with a bit of extra sort of surface space as well as all this storage as well. Now this chest of drawers actually sort of came from upstairs. I um, we sort of, I salvaged it. I suppose it was going to get broken up into bits, and so I thought I would use it in here and make good use of it, just like I did for the planer stand and so you've got again ready-made sort of work surface and drawers um, this was actually surprisingly difficult to get a part in well I needed to take all the drawers out because this is actually quite reasonably heavy so I need to take all the drawers out in order to sort of save a bit of weight and so that me and dad could get it down the stairs sort of spiralish staircase makes it a, made it a challenge I suppose 
but so we in the end I had to take off the back I won't bother to show you but I took off the back and was able to access some little screws which I needed to in order to um, sort of remove the uh, I can't quite get low enough to there just about see the rail there that sort of made, means that the drawers sort of extend to this distance and won't come out any further which is handy but also made it difficult in order to get the drawers out so this chest of drawers actually has quite an interesting story behind it and I'll briefly go through it with you and it actually started out from it came from America this um, my auntie and uncle and their children actually spent a few years over in America and obviously had a house and built up a collection of furniture and when they eventually moved back to the UK after also visiting New Zealand they had a load of sort of extra furniture which they couldn't fit into their house so this is something we acquired so as I said before this actually is this is this was reasonably well made because it certainly wasn't designed for you to remove the drawers anytime soon I had to pry off the back but don't worry about any furniture lovers this is not sort of a mahogany solid mahogany thing or anything this is this is definitely veneer you can see this little burn here that's sort of happened over time and now it's also got lacquered tissue paper attached to it as a result of the one of my more recent projects so although it was at the end of its life in the house it's been given a new lease of life in here and it'll be used for many years to come so there we go so just before I go I thought I would take you outside and we can go and have a look at the Christmas lights up so let's go so this is the little cul-de-sac of houses which I live in and this house on the end with the garage door open is the house where I live so there we go you can see the lights the ones up at the top the other day I was defying death <laughs> in order to hang those up there's a little sort of half overhanging roof that I was climbing up on there completely unharnessed just just for the thrill of it getting up there in order to put those lights up I don't know every year mum seems to want to put up this little reindeer so who's going to argue with her So there we go guys, once again, have a great Christmas, I'll see you shortly after.